Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. If you are new here, I am a teacher who taught first grade in Tennessee and I am now teaching kindergarten in California. As of right now, we are virtual, but we did put in a waiver for K through six to come back at our school. So hopefully I can see my kindergartners soon. This is a classroom setup video, my favorite type of video. It's kind of what launched my channel. And I'm just so, so glad that I have a teaching job this year. So it is Saturday, September 26th. My vlog camera is actually broken right now. So I'm filming on my iPhone, which is totally okay. But if it's a little bit more shaky, that's why. So I have a couple of things in my car. Everything was delivered in my last setup video. So if you didn't see that, make sure you click right up here to go watch that video. And you can kind of see everything coming to my classroom from Tennessee. But today is going to be an actual like setup, setup video. And I am so excited. So let's jump in. My outfit today is Fabletics. I wanted something that was comfortable that I could move in. So everything is Fabletics. If you saw my Fabletics haul, then you've already seen this, but Fabletics. <laughs> All right, so let's start at the front door. I have these three bookshelves that were already in the classroom and I put the students' book bins in there. These are the same book bins that I used with my first grade students. Luckily they were all labeled. So that's one less thing for me to do. I do have backpack hooks here, which I think I want to paint white. And then I have this bulletin board. Here is the sink area. I have a storage closet. I'm kind of just doing an overview in case you missed all the other videos. And then this area right here is going to be my things that need to leave the classroom area. My aide has been taking a lot of the things that were in the classroom out and some teachers have claimed some of the other items. So that's what this big section is. These bookshelves are probably gonna stay here and then I have these two tables. These wooden chairs I had in my classroom for flexible seating. I'm not necessarily sure what I'm gonna do with them. And then I have a bulletin board here. I'm probably gonna move that clock just so I can use more of that space up there. And this pocket chart on the clothing rack came in the room, so that was fantastic. I narrowed down the toys. If you guys saw my last video, I just have these toys right now, and I have a whole situation that I wanna use for that. These tables are the $10 tables from Walmart. They look like this. I loved them in my classroom my first year of teaching, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them this year. I might end up breaking them down and then storing them until things are normal again. I have another shelf over here that I have math things on right now and my mini erasers. And then this is kind of like my, well, it is my teaching area right now. So that's a little bit set up. It is set up for distance learning. So it's not the prettiest from this angle because you see all of the cords but that's what I have going for me. I also got Starbucks today and I did not mean to get normal mocha syrup. And when I saw that it was this color, I was like, wow, they must've put a lot of espresso in there. And then I realized I got mocha syrup instead of white mocha syrup. So very chocolatey today. My fridge, my flexible seating scoop rockers, which I actually saw Emma in elementary, her mom painted these for her. So it would be nice if I could spray paint those, but I'm not sure I'm up for it. And then I have some classroom items here. This is my system for homework folders right now. If you've seen my vlogs, then you know. I have another bin of just classroom items. Here's my library. This is something that I want to tackle today. I did kind of arrange it in another video for you guys. I think I really like the way that it turned out because it is well, mostly <laughs> centered on the wall. It's really not centered on the whiteboard, but uh, I don't know. So I kind of want to use this as like a quote board, like just put a quote up there. I don't really know. If you have ideas, please let me know. My library rug is folded up because, well, it's just folded up, but I didn't want to move furniture on top of the rug and then move the rug around. So I might put it out, I'm not sure. I have all of my plants in that corner. Um, oh, and also this whiteboard is not magnetic. So that's kind of why I want to cover it up and use it as a bulletin board. This wooden shelf came in the classroom. You guys already know that. That's my shelf. My bins, I have a cart right here. It's going to be more of like a quarantine book return while things are not normal. And then this is the whole group area that I have right now. I have struggled with this, you guys. I have struggled with this so much because I would love to teach 
from this area of the room, but I don't know. I just can't, I can't figure it out. I really can't. This is a whiteboard that I used for teaching last year, but this year I bought a whiteboard. So I'm going to put that together. Um, let's see over here. This is going to be the small group table when my aide pulls small groups. So this is the area that I set up for my aide just so she had a space. And these are all of the manipulatives that came in the classroom. So it's a lot, but we are working through it. These are some more things that came with the classroom. I would love to use this little shelf as a grab and go art center for my kids. I have another Ikea cart that I just put right there. And then this is where all of my items are stored. I want to use this bulletin board for student of the week. I thought that would be a nice little place there. Then I have a picture of my old class, my very first year of teaching. I'm not gonna get close. I don't wanna break any FERPA laws, so. Just admire it from a distance. Oh my gosh, I love those kids so much. Okay, let's look in the closet. This is a bin with some of my things. I have like my shoe holder that I purchased for water bottles. I really don't know if that's gonna have a spot this year. This has art supplies in it. You've already seen that. This has materials. This has curriculum. I made this little area as kind of like my little book room. So these are books that the teacher before me left here that she used for read alouds. And then this is curriculum from Wonders and we have decodable readers, leveled readers over here. This shelf just has some storage. And then this middle shelf is my storage, which looks like a mess right now, but that's what it is. Christmas stuff. And then this just has more school supplies. So here is a wider view of the room. Like I said, I have made progress, not a ton of progress, but some. Here's the thing, on a normal year, I would want the first thing that I did to be putting up everything on the walls and putting up the bulletin boards. That way they're easy to access once you move all of the furniture, but that didn't happen this year and I'm not sure when I want to tackle that. I do have bulletin board paper. I have a vision for what I want them to look like, but I'm not sure. So I think the first thing that I wanna do is put together my whiteboard. This is what she looks like. Y'all, I'm so proud of this. To be honest, it is chipping a little bit already in certain spots and I don't know why or how or what to do. I really don't. I sanded them a little bit before I painted them and then I sealed them, but I don't know how to keep them from chipping. So if you have ideas, let me know. But I think it came out so nice. I don't know why I'm showing you the top. Look how cute, I'm so excited. It is so me. Ah, it's beautiful. I could stare at this all day. It also came with the little rings to hang anchor chart paper from, and I painted those rose gold too. I think I left them at my house though because I don't know where they're at, but they'll go on top. Okay, here's my dilemma. I don't know if I should teach from over here or over here. I want to teach from this side of the room because I'll explain why. Let me explain why. So if I sit here, I'm looking at my kids. My right hand can write on my whiteboard, but if I sit here, here are my kids, but then I can't really use my right hand because it's right next to the board. I don't know if this makes sense. And then I could use my right hand, but then I'd be far away from my computer. So I don't know. Let's move it over here and see if it works. Okay, so just imagine that the leaf rug is moved over this much. It doesn't look awful. I just feel like no matter what I do, everything just looks kind of cluttered. So if I put it over there, I just feel like it looks like too much over here. You know what I mean? I don't know, because I just feel like it's, well, ignore this. It's this and this and this and this and this all in one area. So I feel like it looks cluttered. And then here's what I'm talking about. I'm right-handed. I would have to, like, I don't know. I just feel like it'd be hard to write on because I'm like right here. But the other thing I like about having my setup over here is I have this wall space right by me, which is nice. If I move this shelf that I have here somewhere else and push the whiteboard up against the wall, then I lose kind of that wall space. That's really nice to have, but it would be more comfortable for me to write on. What if I take this and put it here and then take that and put it there. So if I just 
No, I don't like that. All right, we have this. Um, I could put that coffee table. It's hard to see, but I used it in my classroom last year. It looks just like that one over there. It's like a little coffee table. I could put that here. Okay, so let's just imagine I'm sitting at my stool. I have my whiteboard here. I can write. This is blocking my view. So I don't think I like that here. This is an hour of me moving a whiteboard back and forth. breath I do actually like the whiteboard being here it's just hard because I feel like my setup my first year definitely I feel like I nailed it I feel like I just got it right the first time and so yeah I tried something different and I don't think I really liked it this I don't like here I'm gonna scoot that back I am going to get that coffee table and put it kind of like how I had my first year right by there I love that these walls are able to be stapled. I think it's one of the easiest way to hang things on the walls. And I think it leaves the least amount of damage because staple holes are really tiny. I like that the number line fits there so perfectly. I do like that. I think what's kind of tricky is there's so much clutter back here, so it's hard for me. But I don't, I mean, if you just like, Look at it like this, it looks not so bad. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take care of all this clutter because it's really throwing me off. So here we go. I know some things I'm gonna wanna keep out. So I need to sort through and decide what I wanna store for right now and what I wanna keep out. But then I also have my mini eraser manipulatives, which are taped up right now so they don't spill. So last year I used these two bins to store some manipulatives, so I'm gonna try, actually I could just put like these jars in here. What I actually wanna do is go to Target and see if I can get some bins for that shelf that I have on the wall by the smart board, because some of this stuff I wanna put in there. Okay, so these shapes, we are going to need, we need all of this, I just don't know what to do with it. be wrong but I think I had this full of Unifix cubes. It's just so much easier to remember what I did last year than try to think of like new ways to do things. I also brought these bins from, well I brought them from home but I bought them from Ikea for my classroom so I'm gonna see if I want things in here. Okay I tried these bins. These fit nicely down here. I don't know if I love it. This bin fits nicely up here. There could be a better fit. I just had this from Target. So there's those options. Um, I do have these, but I think I wanna put these, please don't spill, please don't spill, please don't spill. Under here again, that's where I had them last year. But then I also have my mini eraser manipulatives, which are taped up right now, so they don't spill. I want them over here, but where? I could put them on the side of that, that's an idea. Is that the best idea? Okay, I'm getting distracted. I was thinking, what am I even gonna put on top of that? Do I want anything on top of that? I'm not sure. I have this, which I usually, like when I taught last year, I had it on like this wall, but I'm not sure where to put it. So I could hot glue a magnet and put it here. So I covered the back with these magnets and it works, I can hit it and it stays on my board. I think I will just keep it. Oh, that thing just fell. Okay, it's already 642. I don't know how that happened, but I wanna, <laughs> I still have not put these away. I am so bad. I just jump around and do a bunch of different things. Anyways, I have this border, this that I got off Amazon, um, create and educate 
had these and she posted about them and I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen a more perfect border. So I ordered three packs. It is 35 feet of border trim. So I'm gonna measure my bulletin boards. I don't know if I want to do it on all of them, but I just wanna measure, get the perimeter of all of my boards and see like how much I would need. And if I have leftover, I would love to put it around the outside of this. I think that would be so cute. Okay, I did the math. I think that I have enough. So we're just gonna put it up there because it'll make me feel accomplished. Okay, so I tried it with this border and I put up this border to see if I liked that better. And I don't think that I like either of them, actually. Maylene, why do you need to put something on there? I don't, I just thought it would be cute. So I pulled out these and I'm gonna see if I like these up here. I actually like the way this looks, just kind of framing the sides. I think it is good not to have it go down on the bottom just cause the kids will be up there. I'm not sure if I would want it to cover the top or if it looks good just on the bottom, but I actually think I like that. So I kind of changed them all together just so I could see if I liked it. So I just kind of hung it up there. It's obviously not even. I don't think I do like that. I think I like the way these flowers look though. I like how they're kind of like drapey. So I'm gonna try to chain them together and kind of hang them. Okay, I actually really, really like it. I think I like it because it reminds me exactly of my old classroom and I also, I'm sick of seeing this that I never took down. Okay. So I'm not in the mood to hang up everything right now, obviously. Well, maybe, I don't know. It's 7.30, I could if I wanted to, I don't know. But I do wanna kinda of think about where I want my fairy lights. <laughs> I know it's random. In my last costume, I had a whiteboard or a chalkboard back here, I had both, but they went around there. They would also look really pretty in the library, like the library would like glow, but this is off center so that kind of kills me. Actually, I keep moving these bookshelves back and forth so I could center them a little bit more. I don't know. I won't put the fairy lights up yet, but leave me a comment. Tell me if I should put them there or there or there. I really don't want to put them there. So it's currently 8.30. I got a random burst of energy. Maybe it's because all I've had is like coffee today. 
I like that everything is coming together. It really, really feels like everything is coming together. And I know it doesn't look like it. Like it definitely looks like the room threw up, but that's okay. Cause it's going to come together really quickly from here on out. Pretty much everything, well, almost everything has a place. So I'll kind of update you on what the room looks like. Okay, here's what everything looks like. And the more that I'm in here and the more that I see these things here, it really doesn't bother me as much anymore. Like it really is fine. Before I thought it looked kind of cluttered, but I really think it's okay. I did hang up these two frames. I did get them from TJ Maxx a couple years ago. This, I want to get done. Um, and then I've gone through almost all of the things in those bins, almost. This area still isn't put together. Okay, so I'm using this basket right now just for like my weekly supplies for teaching. But normally students turn in papers into this basket or projects or things we're working on. And then this is where they put their center folders. So I don't know if I like it like this. I think I do. Maybe like that probably looks a little bit better. It's my pencil sharpener. I think that looks okay. And then I've just been putting things over here. I haven't organized this area yet because I really don't know how. It's different because my centers last year were just science tables and I put things on top. So I had storage, but this, shelf both of these shelves have built-in sections so i don't necessarily need those things so i don't really know what i'm gonna do i do know that this is what i want to tackle next so i'm gonna clear all that stuff out and figure out where i want to put it probably in the closet honestly okay so i've changed my mind about the library i honestly think i should tackle that and the walls another day but i am going to take care of this area before i go So this is what I have set up for the grab and go art station. I'm gonna put like paper and things on the bottom. I'm just not quite sure how to put it. Um, and these are my caddies that I had on all of my tables last year. So I'm just putting them here mostly because it looks nice and I can pull them out for them if I need to. I don't know. I just figured it would help fill the space for right now. It doesn't really matter. And we are going to clean up this room before I head home. It's 9.08. Oh my gosh, it's like a mountain of stuff still. Okay, cleanup starts now. almost 10 o'clock, which is insane. What time did I get here, four? Yeah, I got here around four. I spent six hours in here today. I don't feel like it looks like I spent six hours in here, but I feel like I got a lot done. I feel like it is way cleaner than when I got here, a little bit more organized maybe. I'll go ahead and do a quick overview, but I hope you enjoyed today's setup video. Next time, I think I'm gonna be doing my library and probably some bulletin boards. I need to get labels made for everything. I do have a lot left that I need to do. I need to organize the centers, which is not like my top priority, but it needs to get done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like it. Hit that subscribe button. If you are not subscribed already, check out some of my other videos. Leave me a comment. Tell me how you are. Tell me where you're from. I hope it's as entertaining as it was the last time. I feel like I have less to do, but more to do at the same time. I don't know, kind of strange. But I'll go ahead and show you the room. I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to go home.